Hey guys, Jamie White here. I wanted to share a few tips with regards to LinkedIn because for me, there's such a massive opportunity on it, but so many people aren't realizing it. So many people don't really know, I suppose, how to capitalize on it. And so with that, I wanted to share a few quick key tips. So the very first point is change your approach. So many people almost sterilize themselves when it comes to LinkedIn. They put themselves in black and white. They're afraid to show off any personality. And I would argue that that's the wrong way to approach the platform. I would suggest use LinkedIn the same way you use Facebook. Put yourself out there, show off your character, show your personality. At the end of the day, people work with people, so show yourself off. Point two, get yourself a good profile photo. I think it's so funny the way people are so conscious of how they present themselves in the real world, how they look, the clothes they're wearing, everything like that but they don't realize, or maybe they're not conscious, that people see them, see them so much more digitally than they do physically. Think about it, how many times will people see you today? But how many times will people see you on social media today? So with that, take real time and attention and care of how you're presenting yourself in terms of your headshot. Get a really, really good headshot that compliments you and use that. Point three, think about your bio. After your headshot, it's the first thing people look at. And if it's a little bit confusing, you're only making it harder for people to understand what it is that you do and ultimately help you. But if it's simple, if it's to the point, if it's straightforward, that'll help people actually connect with you, actually engage with you and actually help you. So think, how can you summarize what it is that you do or the value that you can bring in a simple one-liner? Think about it, nail it down, and get it out there. Point four, content. You have to put yourself out there in some way, shape or form and do it also regularly. Once a week is loads and if you do it once a week consistently, you'll be amazed at the impression it gives and the benefit it brings. So with that, when you're thinking about content, the simple thing is think about the value that you're giving to whomever it is that watches that piece of content. So as I'm sharing a few tips here with regards to LinkedIn and as you're watching this, hopefully you'll get that value from this. The exact same when you go to publish a piece of content. Don't just take a random picture of a piece of food or something like that. Actually think about the content that you're about to put out there and think about it in line with the value it's gonna bring and that hopefully that value is in line with wherever it is that you ultimately want your career to go. And the fifth point, network. LinkedIn is such an amazing platform to network with people. You can search up people by their job field, our individuals themselves. If you've read about them in a newspaper or if you've seen them speak, you can connect with them almost instantaneously. Don't be afraid to send them a mail saying, hey, I heard you speak, or hey, I read about you in a newspaper, or I've been following what you're up to, and I think it's really inspiring. I'd just like to follow your journey that bit more. That's not weird, that's not odd, that's perfectly acceptable. And when you connect with somebody, as you publish content, that's gonna come up on their news feeds, and it's gonna build a relationship between you and whomever it is that you wanna build connections with. So anyways, those are just a few tips for you there. There are so many more out there. All you have to do is Google them. But in applying even just a few, you'll be shocked at the benefit it'll bring you.